Music is so powerful. It's been said that the highest form of hope is art. Byron Stripling. I'm the principal guest conductor of the Philly Pops. Just give us a little the brief history. Byron Stripling. Oh, I hate version. talking about myself. You know, this is just so, so people, uncomfortable. You know, I want people to know who we got here in the city. <laughs> Classical music has always been a part of my life. Uh, my father was a classical singer. Uh, then I picked up the trumpet. I wanted to be a trumpet player within an orchestra. Then I got uh, the jazz bug and I started hearing about these great jazz musicians. I mean, as I mentioned before, many here who were born and bred in Philadelphia. Then I started playing and performing with people like Aretha Franklin, playing on records with people like Tony Bennett, playing on records with people like Luther Vandross. You see how old I am, I say records still. <laughs> right. Nobody, <laughs> nobody buys records anymore. So all of those things come together to make the person who I am. You know, the concert hall is a very special place. When you come to the concert hall, it's your time to forget your troubles and come on, get happy. That's an old song from like the 20s, but it's truly what the concert hall can do for you. I'm wondering if, if you coming to the Philly Pops, do you think that will help open the door to getting other people to come in and experience yeah. Some of this art that is here on the Avatar Arts that really a lot of people with brown skin don't really get an opportunity or sure. don't take a, the opportunity sure. to come out and, and enjoy. Yeah. Well, first of all, I must say that the Philly Pops is a great job of going within the community. Education is the thing that can change people, especially education musically. When people see an orchestra in particular, they think, well, that's some old music. And they classify anything that they haven't heard. Well, that's just some old stuff. And one thing we have to be mindful of is that any music that you haven't heard is new to you. So if you haven't heard Beethoven, Brahms, Mahler, Wagner, but if you haven't heard John Coltrane and Dizzy Gillespie and Duke Ellington and Count Basie, if you haven't heard those great artists, if you haven't heard the great gospel artists, whether it's Reverend James Cleveland, as we said, Mahalia Jackson, Sister Rosetta Thorpe, all of these people, all that music is available for you. You have enough, you're good. It's up to all of us to be teachers of our young people. And we can teach joy and, and prosperity and all of that stuff through the great arts that have. The arts are always there to teach us, to your point, whether it's visual art. How many times have I gone to a museum and I got chills because a piece of art was so beautiful? And I really like old European art, also like African art. Uh, all these things, they, they, they lift me up. So art is important, uh, and music is certainly important in my eyes. And it's been important for black culture for so long. As we said, we've got Motown, we've got the Philadelphia sound, we've got Negro spirituals, and then we have jazz that is full of that. When, when John Coltrane uh, plays A Love Supreme, he's like talking about love for everybody. But then we've got Mahalia Jackson, right? The greatest gospel singer in the world who could go around the whole world and show the greatness of how these songs moved us out of our depression, out of our sadness, and out of our sorrow. So this is, this is what music is for, and this is why the Philly Pops exist. My goal is to bring all of that good music that's you know, natural for Philadelphia, but a music that's, whether it's jazz, whether it's rock, whether it's classical, whether it's pop, all of those things, to bring those together and give people a musical experience where they will leave the concert hall changed. Life's really worth living when you are worth giving. Why can't I give some to you? Yeah, when skies are gray and you say you want blue, I send the sun shining through. You better believe me, I won't be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too.